Hey everyone, welcome to today's episode. Today's topic was requested by you guys, so if there are any more topics or things you want me to discuss, comment down below and let me know because odds are I'll probably make a video on them. So you guys, before we get into today's video, please hit that subscribe button, ring that bell button for notifications whenever I post videos, and give this video a thumbs up if you end up liking the content and learning something. So today's topic is gonna to be on John Mayer's full wah pedal history throughout his whole career. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the video, guys. All right, and now with every timeline, we gotta go all the way back to Room First Squares and Any Given Thursday. Now during this era, doesn't appear to be any wah pedal that John used. No songs he had at the time required the use of a wah, and it doesn't seem like something he was experimenting with live. So we gotta skip right along to heavier things, and as I've mentioned before in previous timeline videos and history videos, heavier things we don't have a lot of information on. And unfortunately, we don't really have pics of the rack that John was using or really even the Bradshaw system, but from what information we do know, it does not appear that John was using a wah pedal at this time. So this speeds us right along to the John Mayer Trio, and really the most prominent use of wah that we've seen from John, and that especially being Good Love Is On The Way, one of my favorite John Mayer songs of all time. Now John used a real McCoy custom RMC wah. Now this is a very high-end boutique style wah pedal that John used to get that really throaty wah sound that he got for Good Love Is On The Way and those trio tones. Now, the real McCoy custom wah pedal did not last very long, however, and it only stuck around for the John Mayer trio era. And now, leading into 2006 and about the time of continuum recording, John actually experimented with the full tone Clyde wah with the performance he did with Just Blaze in about mid 2006. Now, remember this white full tone Clyde wah because it does appear again once more in our timeline. At this point in our timeline, we're moving on into continuum. And at the start of the continuum tour, John did use that RMC wah that he used with the John Mayer Trail. I do apologize, I don't have any pictures to show you in this video, but you guys are just gonna have to trust me and take my word for it. But after a few shows during the Continuum Tour, John did switch to a standard Crybaby wah pedal. And when I say standard, it's because there's no markings or nothing really to discern it from being a different Crybaby model than just the bare bones standard model. But if you listen to some performances during the Continuum Tour or even on Where the Light Is, the wah sound that John gets out of that wah pedal sounds nothing like a standard Crybaby wah pedal, which really leads me to believe that it's been modded, maybe by Robert Keeley or someone else. But I would not personally recommend going out and buying a standard Crybaby wah thinking you're gonna get those wah sounds from that pedal. After the Continuum Tour and era concluded at around 2008 leading into 2009 before the Battle Studies era, we see John start to mess around with the Buddy Guy signature Crybaby wah pedal. Now, the exact details on how long he used this wah pedal aren't that great. We do know that he was messing around with it kind of pre-Battle Studies leading into Battle Studies, the whole era and tour, but primarily the wah pedal that John used for Battle Studies is another RMC wah, this one being the RMC8 equalizer wah pedal. And if you're watching this video, you've probably seen in the Premier Guitars rig rundown, Rene Martinez, John Mayer's tech at the time, actually showing off the wah pedal and messing around with the faders on the front with the EQ. It's pretty iconic and is arguably maybe one of the most famous wah pedals John's ever used because of this rig rundown that you're gonna be seeing now. Is the wah wah pedal, it's meant to be out here. I can't put it in there because he has to employ it with a foot, so it's gotta come out here. Is that a teeth? Is that a what? What, the, what brand is the Wah? Uh, I think they call this an REC Wah Wah. Uh, it's got an EQ on it, as you can see up in the front. And you can turn it on and off if you want to. There's a button down here beside it to turn the EQ off or on. And we have it on. I'm just adjusting the adjustments. I have all the adjustments marked. I have everything marked so I know what to do when I come back. and. Now it's at this point in all the eras of John's wah pedal use that we start to see some stability with what he actually chooses. Finishing off the Battle Studies tour with the RMC8 equalizer wah pedal, this leads us right into Born and Raised and Paradise Valley, and John does stick with this exact same wah pedal. Maybe it's because it's highly sculptable with the faders on the front, you can really adjust and change your tone and really figure out what wah tone you want and get it out of this one wah pedal instead of swapping out different wah pedals to find your sound. This one's so flexible and sculptable, it's really versatile. 
And so of course, John stuck with this while all throughout Born and Raised and Paradise Valley. And the prices for these things on Reverb used are crazy. They're going for up to, you know, eight, nine hundred, even a thousand dollars. But it seems that some are still being made. I've seen up, you know, maybe a couple months ago, a few coming new into a few certain stores. So who knows what's going on with these pedals? I don't believe they're worth what they're going on the used market on Reverb, but if you really want one, kind of call around and maybe see if you might be able to get your hands on a new one. And into the Dead & Company tours in 2015 and 2016, he kept with the RMC-8 wah pedal. Now there is one thing I do need to clear up, and that is in 2014, John performed with the trio on The Late Show. And there are a few forum threads online that claim that John was using a Vertex Axis wah for this performance, and this is totally false. I even, um, checked in with a few of my friends in the John Mayer community and they all agreed that no, this is totally false and there actually is a picture where you can see the faders on the front of that wah pedal. So clearly this is an RMC8 equalizer wah pedal with those faders on the front and not a vertex axis wah. So that's some false information that I've seen going around with John's wah pedal use. So as always, I just wanna clear up any false information and give you guys the correct, true information. All right, so let's see here. We did Born and Raised, Paradise Valley, Dead & Company, The Late Late Show. Okay, so this is gonna bring us on into 2017 and the Search for Everything World Tour. And here is again where we see a change. Now, of course, Bradshaw came in, built this monster rig for John, and I like to think he had some influence on John's next wah pedal choice, and that being a custom audio electronics Dunlop wah pedal. And John stuck with this wah pedal again, for quite a while actually it became his new main wah pedal for the Search for Everything World Tour and for some of the shows with Dead & Company. So you have the Search for Everything World Tour and all Dead & Company shows in 2017 and 2018 use the custom audio electronics wah pedal. Now during 2018, there was one performance that John swapped out to a different wah pedal that for at least that time period was kind of weird for him with his typical gear choices. And that was that he brought back out the RMC-8 equalizer. We only got a shot of it from the back, but the color and everything, it does appear to be the RMC-8. And maybe he was just experimenting for one show, thinking that, you know, if I do end up using a wah pedal, maybe I'll use the old one that I loved for so long over the CAE wah. Who knows, but he did not use the CAE wah for that show, that is for sure. All right, now we're getting near the end of our timeline and going into the 2019 World Tour. Now, for the rehearsal shows that John did before the actual start of the tour, he was using the CAE Wah from Dunlop. But as we get into the first leg of the Asia and Australia leg, he actually swapped out for a full-tone Clyde Wah, just like he used for that Just Place performance all the way back in 2006. Kind of weird that he was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna experiment with a new Wah pedal. Let's stop using the CAE one. Yeah, I remember using the Clyde from uh, the Clyde from Full Tone. You know what? I'm gonna give that one a shot again. And the Clyde was stuck on for only about three or four shows. And by about that point in the 2019 World Tour, he got rid of it and he swapped for the exotic Wah, the XW1. Now this Wah pedal is my personal favorite Wah of any Wah pedal I've tried. It's on my board. It's phenomenal. The tone sculpting is incredible and it's just the right size. You get the mini wah pedals that are too small and the standard ones are a little bit big. This one is just the right size. And ever since about the fifth show into the 2019 World Tour, John has stuck with the exotic XW1. And for all Dead & Company shows since then, 2019 and 2020, we see John using that exotic XW1 wah pedal. So safe to assume that that is John's current favorite choice for a wah pedal. Of course, now in 2021, we have, haven't actually seen him do a performance where he's needed a wah pedal. So I'm sure with more performances coming out and Sob Rock, the whole world tour that's gonna come with that, we will see what wah pedal John's using. But for right now, the last one that he seemed to have loved the most is that exotic XW1 wah pedal. And there you guys have it. That's been the full timeline on John Mayer's wah pedal use. I hope you guys learned something. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you did or you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below for more topics on videos that you'd like me to do or any questions. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care till the next one.